Hello guys, today we're going to take another look at a product from IC Station and today it is this little adapter board here. So as you can see here we have three rows of eight pins and each set of eight has a different uh, header pin spacing. So we start off with our standard 2.54 millimeter and that would probably be two millimeter and then down to 1.28 millimeter which is half of 2.54. So why would we want a board like this? Well, it's very simple. Say we are prototyping this board. So we have our Atmega chip. So we'll get an Arduino Pro Mini. That'll work for that. Then we want to be able to connect wires to this. So let's put it into our little bit of breadboard. So there we have our breadboard. Now we want to get our radio module and connect this. But our radio module uses 1.28 uh, millimeter header so we can't just plug that directly into our breadboard here and that's where this little adapter board comes in so as you can see the header pins line up perfectly here for one of these radio modules and that's the case for a lot of uh, these smd radio modules they all have eight pins that uh, would line up in a straight line like that so this one is the NRF 24L01 radio module that you always see me use. But there's other radio modules. Here's another example. Here's another small radio module. But it also has 8 header pins that would line up there perfectly. And just to show you why this is useful. Here is one of my attempts to connect this to a breadboard. And as you can see, I kind of got a little bit of header. I think I was trying to make this one fit into a socket for and NRF, uh, the, the larger version of the NRF24 so I had the four header pins there and all these wires and while that works it's really tricky to get all the wires connected here without getting solder jumpers and making a mess of the wiring so that was one attempt there here's another attempt at wiring the same module uh, this time I had a straight row of 2.5mm or 2.54mm header so that, that did fit into the board like this. So that would have worked, but uh, again, it was pretty tricky wiring all these little wires together without uh, ending up with solder jumpers and different things like that. So it was a little bit tricky. And just here's another radio module. This is an RFM70 radio. I think you can see it on the back there. But even though it's a different radio module, again, it's still eight pins that we need to connect. So as you can see there's a lot of different radio modules that would use this uh, 1.28 millimeter by 8 pin uh, header configuration. So when you do your prototyping you probably want a little board like this to speed up your prototyping. It's always a good idea to have uh, say a few little modules wired up like this that you can plug them into a breadboard and quickly prototype. So it's probably good to have a few um, little modules on these kind of adapter boards and you can get these adapter boards for other types of modules too you could get them for um, XB modules which have two millimeter uh, spaced headers in a specific configuration you can get adapters to 2.54 millimeters for those and uh, probably for different types of uh, microcontrollers that might be in small SMD packages so it's a good idea to have a few of these things if you're going to be using them uh, in your little parts box so that you can quickly throw a radio module on your breadboard and hook it up to your Arduino Pro Mini and basically design something like this. So since I used NRF24 modules quite a bit, I'll wire up this radio to the little adapter board to show you how it works. And then I'll have this one whenever I need to test something in the future. So how I would start soldering this is I'd take a leg from a component that I've, uh, well a leg that I've cut off a component, put it through one of the pins on the adapter so that gives us something to line the radio module up with. So if we take the module then. So if we line that up and solder that first pin, uh, we can then cut the wire off the back and hopefully the rest of the legs will have lined up perfectly. You could also put another uh, leg in the far side as well if you want. So once you get your first pin in you just snip the leg off then and you can start soldering in the other pins. 
You can put a piece of wire in through each uh, hole and solder that in place. Uh, it takes a little bit longer but you know you're guaranteed the connection. But you can also just fill both sides with solder and uh, if you put a, enough solder in they should, well don't put too much solder in until it's going to be in big blobs on the pins. You want to fill the hole, uh, the pin hole on each side just enough and then when you heat when you've both sides filled and you heat one side it should just flow together and connect but if you have big blobs on it you're going to end up uh, getting solder joints between all the holes and you don't want to you don't want that but once you've done that especially if you don't use the piece of wire make sure and just do a continuity test between your pin here and the pin on the top side of the board here so that will tell you that you have actually soldered the pins and it doesn't just uh, look like you've soldered it because you could have you know, just soldered the top of this pad and the top of the other pad and in between there's no connection. Once you have all your pins soldered then, pretty obvious, you just need a little bit of 2.54mm header. Stick that in, solder that in place and that's your little radio module ready to go. So we can get our breadboard. Throw in our radio module, get our Arduino, and just wire everything up the way we want it. So that's the IC station header adapter board. If you like that product you can head on over to IC Station, there should be a link in the description and as well as that there should be a code so you can get a discount on products when you go over there. Like I said I think it's a good idea to keep uh, modules like this ready to be plugged into the uh, breadboard when you want it so definitely your Arduino Pro Minis and also radio modules like this. If uh, this is the radio module that you want to use in your project then you're better off uh, testing with this radio module than with this one for example which has a different uh, PCB layout and that could also affect its performance, it's uh, the way it transmits the signal, how much range you get or how it's going to uh, react. Obviously because this is much smaller module they're going to have different uh, sizes of inductors and capacitors, even the clock crystal is different so you know that could all affect how this radio module responds to your circuit that you set up and that might not suit this radio module so it's best to test with the one that you plan to use. So if you found that video useful make sure and hit the like button and if you have any comments or suggestions let me know below the video and like I said you can check out the product over on IC stations don't forget your promotional code that should be in the description of the video and that's pretty much everything for today so thanks very much for watching.